I have finally finalized the spreadsheet and I'm ready to share it with you guys. I'm super, super excited about this because I really wish going into the secondaries, I had a spreadsheet that was similar to this. Technically, I did have a version of this, but it was pretty like bare bones and pretty janky. So this is like the 2.0 pumped up on steroids version. So in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through the spreadsheet and how to make the best use of it so that you can keep yourself sane and organized during the secondaries writing process. This is part two of my secondaries mini series. So if you haven't already, please check out part one. There I give you guys the 101 on secondaries as well as share with you some of the things that I haven't heard a lot of other people talk about. Like seriously, go watch it. I don't want you guys to miss that information. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is me. I am an incoming med student for the fall of 2022, and I'm here to be your buddy during the application process and beyond. So let's get to it. Let me bring you guys closer. All right, guys, behold the secondaries master spreadsheet. Whether you are pre-writing or you're in the process of actually completing the secondary essay the application themselves, the essay prompts page is really going to give you guys a general overview of all the questions that you are going to be required to complete. And as I mentioned in my last video, staying organized will really help you to take advantage of similar themed essay questions. This spreadsheet is really going to help you group similar themed essay questions together. So under the category section, you will get to select from a list of common themed essay questions in the drop down. You can see some of those here. By having similar themed essay questions grouped together, you can then really start to brainstorm ideas and stories that you can use more universally to answer those similar type essay questions rather than choosing a story and then later finding out that the one that you had chosen is too narrow and is thus only applicable to that specific essay. Let's take a closer look at what we can do in this spreadsheet. Say I have decided to use Mescal Insiders to get my secondaries prompts and I am applying to Boston University. You can do Command or Control F to find the school, but Boston's right here, so I'm going to click on that. On the school specific page, I can see some general information about it as well as their mission, vision, and values. As I scroll down further, I can see all the prompts from previous years, but I'm gonna choose the one from the latest application cycle because I think that's going to be the most representative of what mine is going to look like. So I'm going to copy, paste them into my spreadsheet and it's gonna look a little bit wonky, but I can fix that by doing paste values only. That's going to format it. I don't want these space in between, so I can delete them. So that now looks good. The next thing that I wanna do is to just re-enter the character limit or word limit onto the following rows. This is just going to help me keep track of the character limit a little bit better rather than having it in the question itself. And then I'm gonna put the school name so I know where it came from. After this, the important part is now I'm going to go through each question and I'm going to categorize it. This first one sounds like a short-term plan. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna say that's experience. Now, while this one is not specifically a diversity question, it's asking a lot of questions that can prompt it. So I think it's a good place for me to just talk about diversity or why I'll bring to the class, just because it seems like Boston doesn't have a, a specific diversity question. And then this one sounds like a why this school. And the last one looks like it's an additional information question. So now that I have that in the next space over, I can really use this space to write down any ideas or any stories that I want to mention related to that question. So above here, I just have an example filled out already for you to reference. And now this next column over is going to be the place where you can link it to a Google Doc where you're actually going to be answering these questions. I'm going to show you that in a bit, but the last column is for designated reviewers, people that you've chosen to review that specific essay question or for that specific school. So let's take a look at this. This is a Google Doc that you can download and then make as many copies as you want for the specific school. So let's say I want to do that. I'm just going to go make a copy and say Boston Secondary make a copy and there we go. So if you are pre-writing, you can use this space to answer those questions that we just got off of the Med School Insider website. I'm going to paste my questions here and do paste without formatting, otherwise it's gonna look a little bit messed up. So now under here, I can start to answer those questions, blah, blah, blah. 
On the bottom, I have written a section for the official secondaries question. So once you've received it, you can copy and paste those questions below. And if they're the same, then you can just copy and paste your responses from above. But this section can also really serve as a final draft for your essays as well. And then going back to link the document onto this spreadsheet, you can just right click and then hit the insert link. And from there, it's just really easy. You can just click on it and it will take you to that document. Earlier, I talked about categorizing and grouping the questions together. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So after you have categorized your questions, and I've just added a few at the bottom here from other schools just to give you guys an idea of what you can do, you can go ahead and sort it by category. So just hit the drop down at the top and then do sort from A to Z. And you can see that it is now sorted by the category. And what something that I like to do is to just um, color code the categories. And this helped me to visualize which theme that question corresponds to. The other option is to organize this by school. So same thing, do the drop down, sort from A to Z. And now I have all the questions for that individual school. If there is a category that you want to add, but it is not available from the drop down, what you can do is do right click, do view more cell actions, go to data validation. Here is a comma separated value list and you can just add as many options as you want and then just hit save. And now you can see that the option is available. All right, let's move on to the next sheet that you have at your service. This is going to be found under the progress tab. I have created this space for you to really keep track of your secondary's application progress, as well as other related logistics. This is going to be incredibly useful once you start receiving your secondary. So let's take a look at her. Oof, and this is a spreadsheet that really tested my non-existent Excel Google Sheet skills. I had to learn how to implement all of these features, but I love you all so much. I really want wanted to make this spreadsheet really functional for you guys. So some of this might look wonky, but it will auto populate once you input the proper information into it. So let's start with the very first column called priority. And when you have secondaries coming in all at once, right after the other, you're going to have to pick and choose which one you want to start tackling first. And so this is the space for you to rank how important that school is for you. The next column over is the level of difficulty. And this is where you can rank how hard or easy it is for you to complete that secondary application. So this can be based off of the type of question that they have or um, how much of it you were already able to pre-write and or based on other information that you're required to enter in addition to the essay questions. I talked about this in part one, so go check it out if you haven't already. Together, the priority and the level of difficulty can serve as a guide when you have multiple secondaries and you don't know where to start. You can either sort this by priority or you can sort it by level of difficulty. This will help you have a better visual depending on what you value. The next column is pretty straightforward, just a place for you to denote the name of the school. The next four columns is going to help you keep track of your completion progress for the corresponding school. Just to give you guys an example, let's say Boston, right? And they had five total essay questions and I've only completed two. So my completion percentage is 40% and I have not completed it, so it's red. But let's say I've got around to it, I finished everything. Now completion percentage is 100% and it's turned green. Completed. The following four columns are related to um, dates and deadlines so that you can stay on track to submit your application in a timely manner. So in this column, I'm going to write down the date that I received the application. So let's say I got it on June 25th. Of 2022. And once I press enter, the following column is going to auto populate with a date that is two weeks from the date that I receive it. And this will be the informal deadline, i.e. the date that you should aim to submit your application by to really maximize your odds of getting an interview, considering that your essays are of quality as well. But there might also be a formal deadline to submit. So having that information is also useful for you to make a note of because in case you don't finish finish it within the two weeks, you want to make sure you're not missing the actual deadline. Once you have submitted your secondary, you can input the date into this column. And what this next column over is going to do is automatically calculate your turnaround time. So three days. 
And then finally, with all the different portals and login information for each school, it's useful to have it logged somewhere so that you can have easy access to it. And that's what the portal site and the portal username and password sections are for. Finally, I've also included a notes section for you guys to um, break down any reminders for yourself. The last thing that I want to point out is this bottom section right here that's going to calculate the total number of essays that you have and give you an overall percentage completion for all of your secondaries as well as your average turnaround time. I just think this is something that's fun to have to see your progress. Obviously, you don't have to use like every section of this spreadsheet. You can update this and tailor it to your own goals. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. I was really excited to share this spreadsheet with you guys. I will link it in the description box down below. So check it out and let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions on something that I can add to the spreadsheet, please let me know and I will try to update it. This is definitely a collaborative process, so I would really appreciate your feedback. This is just part two of my mini series on secondary. So if you guys enjoy this video, please hit subscribe as well as the notification bell so that you can be notified when the rest of the series comes out. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below and I will be sure to get back to you guys. As always, best wishes, warmest regards. Until next time. Bye!